People in our country work some of the longest hours in Europe. And since the 1980s, the link between increasing productivity and expanded free time has been broken. It's time to put that right. So I can tell you today that the next Labour government will reduce the average full-time working week to 32 hours within the next decade. It will be... It will be... It will be a shorter working week with no loss of pay. As a first step, and this has been a real bugbear of some of us, as a first step, we'll end the opt-out from the European Working Time Directive. Yes, and we'll, we'll roll out sectoral collective bargaining. We'll include negotiations over working hours within that. We'll require working hours to be included in legally binding sectoral agreements between employers and trade unions. This will allow the unions and employers to decide how best to reduce hours for their particular sector. And we'll set up a working time commission with the power to recommend to government on increasing statutory leave entitlements as quickly as possible without increasing unemployment. But you know, while, while millions are exhausted from overwork, there are too many others who can't get the working hours they need. So let's make it clear, absolutely clear, we'll also ban zero-hour contracts to make sure every employee... We will make sure... We will, we will make sure we will make sure every employee has a guaranteed number of hours a week.